instant match reaction. Leicester City nil, Everton 2 at the King Power Stadium. What a performance by Everton once again. Organised throughout the entire 90 minutes. Defended brilliantly. Going forward, we took our chances. And we were just so well structured throughout the entire game. And that is, you know, that is really, really down to Carlo Ancelotti and his tactics today. As well as those players that put on that seafoam green Everton shirt. And put in such a, a brilliant, brilliant performance. Look, we were sitting here... And talking about how we needed to replicate the fight and the passion and the organisation shown uh, against Chelsea at Goodison Park. But the reality of the situation is, it was very different circumstances today. We were away from home. The 2,000 fans that we had behind us at Goodison on Saturday obviously weren't there. We were coming up against a very, very informed Leicester side who have won more games in the Premier League this season than anybody else. Got Jamie Vardy in attack, who's scoring goals freely, consistently. And we just completely nullified Leicester to absolutely nothing barring a couple of chances here and there that I put down to you know a couple of lapses in concentration they had very very little in the game and we were absolutely brilliant once again that back line of Godfrey at left back Holgate at right back Meenan and Keane at, at centre half which was brilliant with Olsen behind them of course Robin Olsen coming in for Jordan Pickford and I thought he'd done really really well didn't have an awful lot to do but the basics that he had to do, he'd he done well and he was very, very comfortable. And, you know, you, you look at Robin Olsen and, and when Jamie Vardy's heading from five yards out, you're sort of thinking, yeah, you know, it's comfortable for him. He's going to be able to save that. Didn't have to do anything massive, but the simple things he'd he done really, really well. And it was such a, a well-organised Everton performance again today. It was brilliant. It was just absolutely brilliant to watch. It's so night and day from what we were watching two or three weeks ago when we seemed, you know, like the players seemed like they didn't really know what they were doing or where they were supposed to play or how to play their specific position we revert back to a four at the back formation a 4-3-3 and obviously even having two uh, unnatural fullbacks playing and Mason on the right and, and Ben Goffrey on the left everybody just looks so organised everybody knows what they're doing everybody knows the job we defend as a unit yes we allow teams a lot of the ball but they can't break us down we're so so well um structured and so so compact defensively that we can allow teams to have 60 70 80 percent possession in periods of the game because they don't do anything with the ball and we're very good on the counter attack we showed that today obviously Richarlison scoring brilliant brilliant goal uh by Richarlison and it would have done him, done him an absolute world of confidence I thought he was brilliant today again he come under the usual stick from nonsense commentators who haven't got a clue i don't know what morrison's doing commentating on football he hasn't got a clue him saying oh with richarlison down again that old chestnut of people seeming to think richarlison dives when every time he hits the floor it's because he's being hit he was kicked constantly all game he was thrown about constantly all game he got up he worked hard even to the point where he landed horribly on his hand and he had to get his hand strapped up he was still giving 110 percent running all the way down the wing in the last five minutes to try and um create another opportunity he was fantastic and he needed that goal today and i'm absolutely made up for richie because i know it's a mistake by by casper schmeichel and i know ultimately you know a lot of people will look at that goal and think well schmeichel should do better but it's brilliant by richarlison he gets it on the left hand side he cuts it he hits the shot it's got good power behind it should the keeper make a save i don't particularly care to be honest with you because it goes into the back of the net and it will give him a world of confidence and, and he's seen that today he was a much better performance from richardson he was wanting the ball he was trying to create opportunities he was getting forward uh, again dominic calvert lewin brilliant work rate wise worked his ass off all game was holding the ball up for other players was causing um you know an absolute problem for the defense he was a nuisance to those defenders and that allowed the likes of alex awobi to run off and play freely and sigurdsson to to play uh, play play freely as well and, and going forward again we we took our chances with charleston takes his chance and scores we had a number of opportunities in that game where it, again it could have been three four five nil in that game because ultimately you know, we had a number of opportunities where we hit them on the counter-attack. They passed the ball around the defence and, and were caught. And we just didn't make the most of it. But again, we get a corner in the second half. Brilliant ball in. Michael Keane gets a fantastic header. Kasper Schmeichel makes a brilliant save. Dom then gets on the end of it. Schmeichel makes another fantastic save onto the bar. But then the persistence of this Everton team. Michael Keane heads it. Not successful. Dom heads it. Not su uh, sorry, Dom hits it. Not successful. Mason Allgate's there to fire it into the back of the net. And it's 2-0. And at that point, you're sort of thinking, we've won this game. And I can't tell you how refreshing it is to be sitting there with 20 minutes left of a game. Away from home against a very, very good very solid Leicester side who are usually very well organised themselves 
And with 20 minutes to go, be thinking we've we've won this game. It's so so solid. Um, I remember sitting there watching Chelsea on Saturday, thinking, you know, that this is just isn't this isn't Chelsea's day. They're not going to be able to get through us with defending fantastically. Yeah, it's just absolutely brilliant. And and I thought the same in this game against Leicester. Obviously, we had a, a massive massive blow, um, just before the the first half ended. Alan going off with what looked like a hamstring injury. In fact, it was a hamstring injury. Um, not great. For Alan, to be perfectly honest with you, a very, very nasty injury. Don't want to sit here and speculate, but usually it could see players out for, for a sustained period of time, which is obviously not what we need given the run of fixtures that we've got, the amount of fixtures that we've got. But again, that can only be put down to, to scheduling and to the amount of fixtures and the lack of rest time and the travel and the, the conditions and all of that sort of stuff. Uh, but Alan was fantastic in the game prior to that. He was probably our best player as well as Abdelai Decore. He was brilliant. He was breaking everything up every time the ball came in into the box and we defended it he was there with you know to win the second ball rather than a Leicester player getting on the end of it he was fantastic and you know Andre Gomez come on to replace him and I don't want to sit here and go into Andre Gomez because I don't want to be negative because it was a fantastic win today but you know you, you can tell it's a considerable considerable difference when Andre Gomez is playing in Alan, Alan's position rather than Alan playing there and um, he's just he's just nowhere near as good enough to do it he's not fast enough he's not aware um, he hasn't got quick enough feet. He doesn't want to battle. Um, but Abdelai Decore he sort of stepped up then and he sort of took on that responsibility of battling and winning the ball back and getting to the second ball and tracking back and defending. And he was fantastic. He was my man of the match today, Abdelai Decore. Don't think he put a foot wrong whatsoever all game. He was brilliant. He was absolutely brilliant. And that's exactly what you want to see from Abdelai Decore. Solid in the midfield, getting forward you know, when he can. But when he's asked to sit back and defend and do the dirty work, he can do it as well. Thought he was brilliant. Defending Defensively, like I said, Mason Holgate again playing right back. Not only the goal to um, to secure the win, but very, very solid overall. Ben Godfrey at left back again. A couple of little bits of lapses in concentration, but overall very, very solid. Very consistent. Defended very, very well. Meaning and Keane. Michael Keane. Again, how many performances does Michael Keane have to put in like this before people start to sit up and realise he's a top, top quality centre-half? He was absolutely brilliant again today. Um, and then going forward, Richarlison really impressed with work rate Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Awobi, again, got to give Awobi credit. Fantastic today. Really, really good. Yes, he can improve on his final ball. We know that. We spoke about that. But wanting the ball, wanting to get forward, taking people on, using his strength. The thing I, saw, I noticed about Awobi, on a couple of occasions when Leicester were getting forward and Leicester were breaking at us and putting a little bit of pressure on us, Awobi had picked the ball up, run completely down the other end of the pitch. And if there was nobody up there with him, he'd win a foul. And he was doing it all day. And that is so, so important when you're defending a lead away from home against the team that are coming at you. Being able to pick the ball up, take it down the other end and win a foul. It's so important. It just completely, completely ends the momentum of the opposition team. And a Wolby was doing that today. I thought Gilfie Sigurdsson played really well again. Effort, passion, fight, showed it. Wanted to get involved. Was throwing tackles in. Was getting back. Was defending. Was getting forward. Put a couple of good balls in. Look, Gilfie Sigurdsson isn't always going to score penalties or create a, a plethora of opportunities. But that's the bare minimum we need. We need that work rate. We need that effort. And he put it in today. And I thought overall, as a whole, we were very, very good today. Very well organised. Very difficult to play against. And, you know, I was watching thinking I wouldn't want to play against this Everton team here. And we need to be doing that every week. If we can put those levels of performances in every single week, we'll win a lot of Premier League games. And we will be in a good good position come the end of the season because it's so so hard to play against and that's shown against Leicester and Chelsea who are two of the best attacking teams in the Premier League scoring goals freely couldn't put a goal past us that's two clean sheets now consecutively two clean sheets consecutively after not having won for you know however many weeks since the, the first game of the season it was just absolutely brilliant obviously we did have a little bit of a blip uh, towards the end of the game Andre Gomez giving away a penalty which was overturned correctly by VAR uh, Gomez does get a touch on the ball wasn't massively happy with it though because I've seen them given even in those circumstances with VAR I've seen them given and I think Gomez was just a bit behind the play but he's not Alan is he that's why we signed Alan ultimately to do that role and when you take Alan out and you replace him with somebody who, who, who isn't as good then you, you're going to see the difference quite clearly um, and then obviously Leicester had the ball in the back of the net but it was rightly ruled offside but other than that and a couple of like I said, blips at the start of the game. Jamie Vardy's header being one of them. Thielman's had the shot in the first couple of minutes. We were, we were just so solid. It was brilliant. It's so nice to watch. It's it's just absolutely fantastic to sit back and watch us play like that. Hit teams on the counter-attack, score, and then just not shut up shop because we were still getting down the other end. It wasn't a 
defensive performance we were just absolutely outstanding defensively it wasn't like we sat back after scoring the first goal and put 11 men behind the ball and said right okay we're defending now we didn't we come forward in numbers a wall we were trying to create Richarlison was trying to create Dom was getting on the end of opportunities Sigurdsson was getting forward we just defended so well and we kept our shape every time we lost the ball and Leicester did have a lot of possession but every time Leicester had the ball we just fell back into that natural shape and it's so hard to play against it was brilliant today absolutely brilliant again Again, a masterclass by Carlo Ancelotti, a fantastic performance by those Everton players. And I, 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 there's, like, like I said, there's no negatives other than Alan going off injured, which of course we can't help. And is very disappointing and is quite worrying considering the games that we've got coming up. And, you know, there's now a question as to who comes in and replaces Alan. I wouldn't choose Andre Gomez. I'd rather see Tom Davis in there, to be honest. I think he's more like Alan um, than Andre Gomez is. But... Again, what a, what a performance. That's two big, big wins. That One at Goodison Park against the decent Chelsea side and one away at Leicester against the very good Leicester side. And we spoke about how we need to get at them and focus on their weaknesses. And that's what we've done today. That's exactly what we've done. You know, Charleston has a fantastic shot. Okay, keep should make the save, but whatever. He's bothered. And we, you know, we score from a set piece, which we've been very, very good at this season. And again, the work rate is there. The work rate is 110% from every single Everton player. And that will get us through a lot of games of football as well as that quality. It was brilliant. It was absolutely brilliant. Anyway, that is my instant match reaction. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed the video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, we'll have the play ratings up in a moment. So don't forget to look out for that one. Big, big win. Come on, you Blues. Up the toffees. Get in. Happy days. See you later.